Hi, uh, my name is Brett Burton. I'm a partner here at Still Burton LLP. We're a public accounting firm uh, here in Farmers Branch, Texas. Uh, we specialize in uh, taxes, uh, accounting services, uh, as well as auditing. And just wanted to take a little time here and discuss uh, with you why it's important to, to consider your tax situation uh, as you maybe consider moving to uh, another state. The states have various types of uh, income taxes uh, as well as various uh, state taxes possibly, uh, different property tax rates, uh, sales tax vary from, from state to state. Uh, so it's uh, certainly important to think about these things before you, before you make the move. Uh, so specifically in Texas, the, uh, Texas is actually a very uh, tax friendly state uh, for retirees. Uh, there's no state income tax, so that includes your Social Security as well as your uh, retirement income uh, or any income whatsoever, actually. Uh, so you don't have to, have to worry about paying uh, taxes on any income uh, in Texas. Uh, sales taxes here are relatively high, uh, so that's kind of the trade-off. Um, the, the rate for the, for the entire state is 6.25%. Most of the local jurisdictions add on another 2% there. so. Average is somewhere around 8.25% on sales taxes. Uh, the other trade-off on uh, for not having income tax would be the, uh, the the higher property tax rates. So property tax rates are average around 1.8%, um, and so the, uh, the but you, you do get a $25,000 uh, know, homestead exemption, and if you're over 65, get another $10,000 on top of that. So that helps out, uh, and that does, and the rates do. Uh, once you're over 65, do do uh, stop. The rates don't increase uh, once you get that age, so that uh, that helps a lot. Uh, there's also no uh, no estate tax uh, or inheritance tax, so uh, you, you would still fall under under whatever inheritance or estate tax you would have for federal purposes. But for Texas, there's no additional uh, additional state tax.